Does the Bible record real history? Many people today think that it doesn't. In this series, we're exploring the evidence in the books of Luke and Acts in the Bible, and we're testing what Luke says in them. We've seen previously that Luke writes reliably about real people in real places, and he gets the local details right. We can test Luke particularly well in the second half of the book of Acts, where he has first-hand knowledge of some of the events. But Luke writes about real people in the first half of the book of Acts too. In Acts chapter 5, the Jewish authorities arrested some of the Christian leaders and told them to stop publishing their message. They wanted to kill the Christians, but one of them, a respected leader called Gamaliel, persuaded them not to. But one member, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, who was an expert in religious law and respected by all the people, stood up and ordered that the men be sent outside the council chamber for a while. Gamaliel was a real person. The Jewish historian Josephus also mentions him, and later Jewish teachers wrote about him too. Gamaliel was the grandson of a great Jewish scholar called Hillel, He was a highly respected scholar and a leading authority in the Jewish council early in the first century AD. Later in the book of Acts, when Paul the Apostle is defending himself to hostile Jews in Jerusalem, he mentions that he'd been taught by Gamaliel. This is what he says. I am a Jew, born in Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, and I was brought up and educated here, in Jerusalem, under Gamaliel. As his student, I was carefully trained in our Jewish laws and customs. I became very zealous to honour God in everything I did, just like all of you today. Yet again, we see that Luke wrote about real people. But at one point in his account of what Gamaliel said, he seems to make a huge blunder. We'll look at this next time.